Welcome to Instant Replay Live. On tonight, we answer the tricky question, what is the meaning of life? Do we? Yeah. Is that... Um, Isn't that what we agreed to tonight? Uh, okay. I know what's best in life. Oh, what is that? Eternity. <laughs> <laughs> Crush your enemies. See them driven before you. And hear the lamentations of their women. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's so many great quotes from that movie. I feel like oh, that's, yeah. that's one of the best, but I love... He is Conan. He does not cry, so I cry for him. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, that is a good one. Oh, I love those movies. All of them. Like, even, like, the bad ones, right? <laughs> like, like uh, Red Sonja. Like, it's okay. Oh, I haven't seen Red Sonja, actually. Really? Yeah, it's one of those weird, like, it's definitely on my list of movies. I've got oh, that's weird. That's to surprising do. to me. So, so is Conan the Mini of Life? Uh, wow. Did we figure it out like that? That was really easy. All right. I... That's the end of Instant Replay. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing more to explore. I mean, the, the meaning's the not here. Go watch Conan, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Don't bother with us. Oh. The meaning oh, is goodness. probably not watching Joe fail at this game over and over again either. I probably should have done a couple of practice runs of this beforehand because <laughs> it's been a little while since I've played it. Yeah. Um, so we took a break. Actually, that's a great segue because I wanted to bring up the amazing IT senses that I had. Um, we were recording. And obviously this is a new session, Joe's saying it's been a long oh, time. Yeah. And this storm was brewing up, and we even mentioned it on one of the episodes that they were storming outside. And we had recorded for like three hours, I think. And I just had this sudden stop. I was like, we need to we need to save it because uh, I don't know when the last time we saved was. We've just been letting the recording run straight through. And Joe was like, You wanna do that now? And I was like, Yeah, that's probably for the best. So <laughs> So I cut it, uh, cut the video, cut the, the audio, saved it all out, and then not like five minutes later did a huge wind blow and knock out the power and we would have lost everything. Well, we would have lost, the, the audio, Audacity's pretty good about like collecting a cached version and letting you relaunch that, but the video would have been completely gone, like the last whole set of videos. So, I got a question for you then, Nick. Were you bit by a radioactive meteorologist? <laughs> Well, I think it was. I think it's more that I just have been sitting in front of a computer for the better part of thirty years, and uh, I am now in tune with the the needs and wants of the machine. <laughs> you know? My surge protector senses are tingling. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's how I lost the hard drive pretty tragically. I mean, it was plugged into a surge protector. The storm wasn't even that bad. It sounded like, but uh, like killed my surge protector and killed my my hard drive. Yeah. Well, everyone, this is like such common thing, but. People don't realize that not all uh, now, not all surge protectors are lightning strike guaranteed. Yeah. Like you're gonna just you're basically, and not not all power strips are surge protectors either. Oh yeah. Um. So that's the other thing is people assume like oh no no I'm in a I'm in a power strip I'm fine. No no you you need a surge protector and you want one that's lightning strike guaranteed if you're gonna put a device on it that you care about. Otherwise, you're just splitting power into multiple devices and the lightning will pass right through that electrical surge. Oh, man. So this has been our educational corner on Instant oh. Replay Live. I hope you've learned something. Next boop. week, we discuss uh, theoretical entanglement. Quantum entanglement. Quantum entanglement. Which wow. pretty awesome, actually. Do you know... It's a big jump from this. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm familiar with yeah. the, the, like the most basic root concept that you can affect sure. one particle and have it affect another particle somewhere else. You know, yeah, like crazy. that concept is a, that's about as far as my knowledge goes. So I can't wait till next week. Tell me more. Uh, well, that's for next week, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> a, a, week now, a week from now, a week from now, we're going to be recording episodes that will cross into a week from now um, tonight. So you have to get that ready now. Shit. So. <laughs> So that you could explain it in like, you know, well, exactly seven episodes, actually. I mean, it is really cool stuff, though. It's like, the, 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 to get a little deeper into it, uh, we're getting ahead of next week, but, you know. Uh, so you, you you have to smack two quantum particles together, and the interaction that they have with each other entangles them, is what we call it. It's a pretty easy description of it. Um, and so one will have a positive spin, and the other will have a negative spin. And it's uh, the, the basic thing you can affect is... If you change the spin of one, it changes the spin of the other. Yeah. So, uh, oh. so you can communicate that way, like binary, across the universe potentially. If you, you know, say, okay, negative is 
one and, and positive is zero, it doesn't really matter because negative and positive are arbitrary. Um, you can create, you know, a basic binary language to instantaneously talk across the universe. Yeah, it's pretty wild. Yeah. Whoa. And then, yeah, quantum this computing jump. is this whole idea that I don't understand either. I've heard the term, but I assume I has know. to do with that, like being <laughs> like, able to fast transfer information by manipulating things like that or something. I, I, I don't so. know. That I know very well. Someone, uh, someone post in the comments if you want, yeah. if, if you, you have a, a doctorate. <laughs> yeah. Please. Yeah, I don't know anything about it. Man. But it sounds interesting. It sounds like the future. Uh, I think we just took a quantum leap into next week. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> Thank oh you, Scott boy. Bacula. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where did these boobs come from? Well, <laughs> my favorite... <laughs> my favorite leap is when he goes into the, the, the mentally handicapped person. Oh, God. <laughs> Do you know the episode? Well, there's two that I can think of. Well, actually, oh, yeah, no, it's really the same. Come. It's the same person. Because there's one where he jumps into a psych ward, a person in a psych ward. I guess it's not... Oh, no, movie. that one's different. Yeah, no, this one's is... Intense, but what, which one? This is a person born with it, and he actually ends up leaping back either to the same person again or to, like, that person's brother or something. <laughs> but, but it's an actor with Down syndrome. Oh, yeah, okay. And he literally, like, he looks into the mirror, and, and that poor actor had to, you know, be recorded staring into the same mirror and say, What? I'm retarded. <laughs> oh, my God. Scott Bakula did a really good job with that prosthet those prosthetics, you know? No. Oh, I gotta put Jake down. She's, she's squirming too much. I can't get close to the mic. Um, but, yeah, no, I... Uh, it, it, it's just... There's a, a gif where that's used a lot on, like, threads where somebody's <laughs> being an idiot. They'll just make someone look in the mirror real quick. Oh, um, that's... Man, that show is so good. Yeah, the, so the episode that I... The, the one that stands out to me the most... Well, I guess there's two. But the one that I was talking about before where he's in the psych ward. Yeah, I remember they, that one. He undergoes, like, electric shock therapy. Oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. That was crazy. Yeah, just to show the, like... I mean, that show had, like... A message for every episode, kind of thing. Yeah, you know? like the um, the civil rights episodes are always the best ones for you know, oh, like for sure. They, yeah, where, when he would jump into an African American person and he had to deal with being black in a time when it was, you know, absolutely horrible to be black and uh, and had to experience that stuff. It was pretty neat. See, now Scott Bakula has made it okay for white men to understand the suffering of black people. You know? <laughs> Like, well, I would say you, brothers. I would say his character did. <laughs> you know, I don't know if it goes for everyone. I think Scott Bakula is all white people. Oh, okay. He's pretty white. <laughs> we are we are Scott Bakula. We are Legion. <laughs> <Damn it. laughs> right. uh, can man. you get past this level, please? Uh, no, I and can't. beat this game. We don't even know if we'll be playing Super Meat Boy in a week. That's a good point. I I certainly hope. We're I guess not. this is kind of a Schrodinger's cat situation. Whoa. Will the quantum entanglement episode exist? <laughs> it probably does, and it doesn't. Can it affect this one if it does? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> can it re re rewind this episode? I don't know. I um, always wanted a cat named Schrodinger. Yeah, that'd be pretty good. Um, that, uh, oh god, well, that's. I think that was actually the name of the cat from Sliders. I think, uh, oh, was it? Quinn named his cat Schrodinger. That's very fitting, I mean, yeah. him being. I've got to readjust myself here so I can see. A high school super actually, scientist. The, I realize the monitor's tilted your way a little bit. Could you, uh. I, it's not actually, it's tilted more your way, but I'll tilt it a little bit more. Thank you, yeah. There we go. Oh, that made it worse. Yeah, good job. I need I need excuses to yeah be like oh man mm -hmm. ooh, ooh. okay oh so I I we make notes for this show or at least I do <laughs> and uh, I I had to realize the ridiculous nature of my notes because I was just looking over some of the titles and like wondering how funny it would be if somebody ever found my notes some things you can look forward to. On Instant Replay Live, um, Opossum Tales, <laughs> Choke a Bitch Arrow Champion. <laughs> what? Are these ones we're about to discuss? We're gonna discuss them in the future. Oh man, okay. quantumly. Okay, cool. <laughs> Golf ball cannons. This one, this one took me forever to remember what it was about, but I wrote down Autism Spectrum. <laughs> um. Uh, let's see here. 
times I pooped my pants. On the next <laughs> Instant Replay Live, you can get some good information. Oh, is that, is that an episode? That's an episode. Oh, man. All right, I'm going to have to practice this one because this is impossible. You really kick it. Kick Yo, it. plans, free stroke, Sonic Golf. Sonic Golf?